Good morning and welcome to the Chart of the Week video with me, David Madden. Today's date is Friday the 12th of February 2021 and the time has just gone 8.49 GMT. And uh, this week's Chart of the Week is the Australian dollar versus the Japanese yen or the Aussie yen uh, as many refer to it. Uh, the Aussie yen uh, has been in a strong upward trend uh, the, last few, the, la the last few weeks and months. As you can see here, a nice example of an upward trend by a series of higher highs and higher lows. Uh, and only yesterday, um, the currency pair hit its highest level since December 2018. So a month year high was achieved. Uh, the market's moving higher. Uh, why is this? Uh, well, first of all, um, the Australian dollar is considered to be a risk on currency in that when traders are feeling optimistic uh, about the state of the, the global economy, um, they often tend to buy assets that are considered to be higher risk. Um, on the flip side of that, the Japanese yen is considered to be a risk-off currency in that whenever there's, there's times of, of uncertainty and stock markets are falling, you tend to see the, the Japanese yen fall. So this currency pair uh, is kind of both has both elements of risk on either side of it. So if you're seeing a, a solid move to the upside in the Australian dollar versus the yen, it's clear that traders are, are, are in risk-on mode because they're clearly buying a risk-on currency and simultaneously selling a risk-off currency. Uh, why is this? Optimism in relation to, to that the global economy was going to rebound because of the, um, the, the vaccination rollouts and, and with that the view is that the economies, world, global economy, well, economies around the world are going to be more open and less restricted three months, six months, nine months down the line. Economic activity is likely to increase and with that we're seeing uh, a strong rise in metal prices. Uh, copper recently had an eight-year high and platinum recently had a six-year high. So. Um, the the um, oil re recently hit a 13-month high. So the, the move, Australia is a very is, is a disproportionately large amount of its growth wealth comes from commodities, strong commodities because of a stronger Australian dollar. So we're looking at the, at the price action here of Aussie N. It's in a strong upward trend. We're currently trading at 81 spot 10. If you continue to move on higher from here, we could be looking at be heading up towards the 84 direction, just to, just north of it, 84 spot 02. Um, 84 spot 02 um, was the highest highest was the level was the highest seen in uh, early December 2018. Uh, if we do see any moves to the downside in RCN, where could we potentially find support? Uh, so if we do move lower from here, we could find support from the 80 level, uh, just in around the lows of. Um, um, of, uh, of February. If you head below that, you could head back down towards this blue line here, the 50-day moving average. Notice how it acted as both support and resistance in the last few months. Uh, that comes into play at 79 spot 49. <clears throat> um, if a metric you know, has been has been has been uh, important in the past, it makes it more likely it'll be of importance in the future. Although there are no guarantees, uh, but even if you drop below the 50-day moving average, support could be found. Uh, from this area here from the 100 day moving average in around 77 spot 42 once again that area has acted as support in the past and if you look at where the 100 day moving average is it's not too far away from the lows of early december in at 77 spot 49 so some traders will be looking out for recent lows other traders will be looking out for moving for moving averages um, and if a couple of those kind of price points uh, overlap it makes a more that that particular price point is likely to become even more significant. So keep an eye out for this for these for these areas should we see a move to the downside. Now if you are going to be trading the Australian dollar versus the Japanese yen or any of the yen of any of the Australian dollar crosses, it is worth your while finding out what the Australian dollar as a whole is doing. So we can look here on our platform under products, we can look under Forex indices. Um, we, here at CMC, we offer foreign exchange indices, which work in a similar fashion to stock market in indices. In that, um, it's, a, it's a it's a it's a it's a currency that is that, that is is um, marked against a basket of other currencies. So it's the strength of the Australian dollar versus the Japanese yen, the U.S. dollar, the British pound, the euro, so on and so forth. And we can see here on the CMC AUD index, see how the Australian dollar is performing as a whole. Similar situation. It's been in upward, strong upward trend uh, uh, in the last few months. Uh, in fact, we, we recently pulled back from the recent highs and it's nicely being supported by its 50-day moving average. So we can see Aussie yen is moving higher and we can see that the CMC AUD index is also moving higher. So 
the, if the fact that the Australian dollar is gaining ground across the board, it makes it more likely that the Aussie yen is going to increase. If there's a deviation in the in those, um, then you, then you can become less less um, less confident that the wider upward trend is going to continue. Uh, and lastly, I mentioned copper early on and metals. If you are going to be trading uh, the Australian dollar, it is worth your while keeping an eye on what's going on in copper. We can see here that copper has been in a strong upward trend since March. Uh, we recently hit an eighth year high during the week only on Wednesday. We've come off ever so slightly. If we do see a bit of a pullback in copper, that could lead to a scenario whereby we see a drifting off in the Australian dollar versus the yen. And should that be the case, we might even see a scenario whereby the Aussie yen moves a bit lower uh, before potentially con continuing on in the wider upward trend. So we could see a, diff a drift lower in the Aussie yen in the near term if metals fall. Uh, but to keep in mind, we've been in a strong upward trend for several months. Um, that's all from this video. Thank you for listening. Have a good trading day and have a good weekend.